Hello guys, um, my name is Akhi Vukar. Welcome to our new video of Bitcoin chart analysis for Bitcoin options trading. So let's jump right into the chart analysis. If you guys remember in the, uh, on the last day, okay, uh, for the last day, I have not put up any video for the Saturday. I only put up the video for Friday. Uh, I was quite busy with something because I was in my hometown. I was not able to do a uh, record a video properly. So I'll just explain to you guys about, regarding our trade, which we took on uh, Friday. So what happened? The market was right over here and it break this particular particular zone, which is very important zone. If you look back in the this one, which we discussed in the last video, so I'm not going to explain much on that particular zone. So what it, what we did, uh, we entered into a trade, which was my view was bearish. I informed you guys as well. So I entered to a, I took a put, I bought a put option. I was, I did an option buying. I bought a put option because my view was bearish. So what happened was the market went over here and it bounced back. That means my view was wrong. At least for some time it was right. I was uh, uh, 50 percentage up, but my target was at 100 percentage. So I didn't uh, took out the profit. So I was less waiting for it to drop it uh, further. But the moment, uh, I, as you know, I always check the 15 minutes chart which I explained to you guys because I want to know what is the real trend. So I always look at the 15 minutes chart. Even at the 15 minutes chart, the the moment it break this line, I entered the trade, it was going really well, it get a bounce back, then okay, it dropped again. So I was expecting it to go further down, but I saw this particular formation when it formed and I was checking at the uh, five minutes chart, then I saw is there was a double bottom. So I saw this double bottom which formed at the CPR. This you can see it's quite clear, quite visible. The moment we saw a double bottom, we know that it's going to be a huge reversal towards the upside. So what did I did? Uh, what did I do? Oh, I I draw a line over here just to just to see that it's going to break the trend line or and it break the trend line. The moment it breaks the trend line, I entered into a call option. I bought a call option over here and I booked the profit over here. So I recovered my loss over here for this position. Don't get me wrong here. I was not trying to win this. Uh, profit or whatsoever I was trying to reduce my loss on that particular day so what I did was I I took a actually I took a decent amount I took 100 percentage profit on this particular uh, position but I lose 100 percent 100 percentage on the position which I took the other day as a bearish view as you can see that day the market knew like this so when when I say I bought a put option as well as I bought a call option so you already know what what is the strategy that I did yes the strategy I did was what is it it is long strangle right i created a long strangle actually it was a uh, more like a long straddle when i did it because uh, uh it was not out of the money or anything like that which i bought i bought was at the money 21500 as you can see it was in this particular zone when it break this particular zone as i said when it break this trend then i enter the trade so it is 21500 was the 21500 was the uh, at the money at that time and the same time if you look at the 15 minutes chart when I entered the trade, the moment it break this particular line, right? It uh, it breaks this particular support line. It came over here, and this is uh, this is the major zone which you discussed last time. So the moment it break this particular line, what did I do? I say entered the trade. I entered the trade, and this is also at the money. You see, 21500 is at the at the money. Actually, maybe just a bit, maybe in the money. I bought in the money at that time because it was already breaking this particular line so i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to tell you right over here uh the strategy i took was it, it was looking like a long long uh, stra uh long straddle but this was not my strategy my strategy it was not my strategy i was trying to re reduce my loss by implementing a strategy okay i was trying to reduce my loss by implementing a strategy i i understood that i was wrong the moment I saw the double bottom over here, then, okay, quickly I realized, okay, I ended into a trade where I have to compensate my loss. So that's why I created a long straddle. All right. I hope you guys understand. If you don't know what's a long straddle, I recommend you guys to Google it or just watch a video. Or if you really want me to explain the strategies and things like that, I recommend you guys to uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do. Uh, videos regarding the strategies how to do uh, strategies to reduce the loss and things like that definitely i'll help you but just letting you know i'm a directional option buyer 
I, I am I'm not a person who do the option buying or things like that only time I'll do option buying is uh, uh, sorry only time I implement a strategy is only when I know that I'm going to have I'm going to suffer a loss when I know that I'm going to suffer a huge loss I enter into a, a strategy to reduce my loss if you want to know more about it and if you want to know if you want to learn more strategies from me you can let me know in the comment section definitely I'll help you guys with a new video but let's come back to the topic so this was my trade so what is my PNL? To be honest, my PNL is in the red. Why the TP charges was negative twenty dollars something like that? Because I keep I entered to two different positions. I have four conditional orders and things like that. So definitely my uh, TP charges was a bit higher. So uh, I suffered a twenty dollar loss in this uh, twenty to thirty dollar loss in this particular trade. I got a one hundred dollar over here, and this position was one twenty eight dollars because it was in the money. As I said, when I entered, it was in the money, so it was a bit more expensive. And plus the TP charges, I lose about $30 on that particular day. Uh, okay, so the next day, as you know, Saturday and Sunday, we don't have to do much. What we'll do, we'll enter into a, uh, this On this Saturday, Sunday, every weekend, I do option selling, as I said to you guys earlier. So it's very easy what we'll do. We'll enter a, uh, uh, to a short triangle position. Short triangle. So I'm doing option selling on Saturday and Sunday. On a weekend, I'll always do option selling on a weekend is always for me is an option selling what, what I did I said uh, I sold a uh, put option I said uh, 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 call option so uh, I will let you guys know what is my position and things like that Give me, man. so as you know uh, on a Saturday what I did was I entered into two positions I'll show you in the 15 minutes chart for you guys to understand better so this is a 15 minutes chart as you know the market is always in a Saturday Sunday is always uh, playing within a range bond so I entered into a put side and uh, sorry in the call side ended into a 22500 so as you can see 22500 is right uh, around this uh, r3 so there's a 22500 here i entered into a uh, i saw a call option over here there and i saw a put option at 2750 which is right above this uh, particular zone so this my view was actually market will be playing within this particular zone so i just uh, sold both of this call option as well as put option uh, of the previous day contract the, it is the same strategy that we did last time i explained to you guys uh, before so i hope you guys understand i'm not entering a trade for that particular day i'm entering a trade on the next day for because i want that premium i want the high high premium that's why i enter the trade for always the next day not on the same day okay if you look in the same day that same strike price the premium price will be very low like twenty dollar things like that so you'll not be making enough money uh if you are trading on that particular day for that particular strike price if you want higher premium then you like to go closer that means the chance of hitting these positions or sl is very high so i don't want i don't want that i want to win so that's why on a saturday sunday i always trade on the next day expiry so don't, don't worry i'll i'll show you guys uh what are some questions and things like that uh so uh Okay, don't I look at the put option side? Uh, I entered into a. It is a different position right now. I'll explain to you guys. This is for tomorrow. The 21,000 put option, option buying I did. This is for tomorrow. This is for the Monday trade. Okay. Um, but let's talk about the uh, short triangle which I did. So I did, I sold as I said, the put option 2750 and call option 22500, right? So you can see the order history. I'll just show you guys for you guys to understand. So you can see it's already booked the profit so call option 22500 um usually you know i put the trigger price as 30 or 40 or things like that because i just want to hit the profit i don't want to wait too much on the on saturday sunday because uh if you wait too much around 3 p.m or 4 p.m there will be sometimes there will be a huge move or a huge week will come and hit your stop loss and things like that so i don't want that all this kind of thing so i will not wait much when i get a decent amount of profit i'm out of the trade so I got a $30 profit from this particular position. That's why I'm exited from that position. So you can see it is a call option of 22500. It's an option selling. Okay. I sold a call option of 22500, which is I already booked the profit and left with one more position, which is currently running at $11 loss. But uh, I ended it just like 100 and we have a lot of time left to expiry. How, how much time? Like there's a lot of time left to expiry. I suspect the market to consolidate much. 
uh, consolidate their results because it's a Sunday. I don't expect the market to move vigorously. The volume, as you can see, is the volume level is really low when you compare it to the uh, normal average. So you can see the average volume and the the volume right now is it's not much actually. So it's okay. I, I'm willing to wait at this particular position for a longer period of time, right? So I'll be holding to this position for a longer period of time. The moment I see uh, uh, roughly about twenty dollars or twenty dollar plus, I'll just exit the trade. Why? Because I already made a thirty dollar profit in uh, in my one side. So on, always on a Saturday Sunday, I try to make fifty dollar profit. So this that is like fifty percentage of my deployed capital. Always deployed capital for the particular trade. I try to make a fifty percent of it. That's how I usually enter the trade. I don't I don't trade like a with my full capital it, it doesn't make sense right so okay i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say so this was my strategy for saturday and sunday yep and you must be wondering hey he has a put option already bought for twenty one thousand. okay now i'll talk about the put uh, put side why uh this was regarding yesterday's trade and now i talk about today's trade because i did do a video <laughs> on yesterday but don't worry and i will not be able to do a video today for the Monday straight that's why I am doing a video in the meantime to show both of this why uh, I'm traveling I'm traveling to traveling back to my actually I was at my hometown uh, I'll be traveling back to uh, I'll travel back to the country where I work so uh, then my I'll be I'll be doing all the videos from there so I'll not be able to do the videos or tell you guys about my position for Monday so that's why I, th I thought, okay, why not? I'll show you guys the positions of Monday today itself. So let's uh, look at the one hour chart, like always. So one hour chart, as you can see, there's a really, uh, the market is really in a really hot zone and it's making a lower highs and higher lows. Then it went up, then it made the same. It came to that same particular level and it is showing a, uh, a reversal, maybe a reversal or uh, maybe taking a small support at the particular point of time. But based on my view, uh, market is quite bearish at the moment. Why? As you can see, this particular zone, right? It's the market is not willing to go beyond this zone. The moment it comes near it, it is the seller pressure is very high. The moment it comes near to the twenty-two thousand, the seller pressure is high. Again, it comes to twenty thousand, the seller pressure is high. As you can see, the wick is very long as well. I suspect the market to come down a bit, not a lot. I'm still bullish in the long run, but for that particular day on a Monday, I expect the market to have a downtrend. So downtrend means it's not maybe it's not it will not be a huge downtrend. Market break this particular zone. This was a very important zone for me. So I'll show you guys. As you can see, that is a very important zone. The market which uh, the market was sustaining in that particular zone for a longer period of time. You see was playing around this zone and the moment the market break that zone you know that it it has fallen down to at least to this particular point which is i had drawn is 2800 or 2900 market has fallen to this particular point and maybe it can even fall down further further down to 2500 or even 20000 so this can happen in the coming days so this is my view on the market for monday i suspect the market to fall down why because it break a particular it, is, it was a huge it was a particular zone for a longer period of time and it break that particular zone after consolidating there for a longer period of time so i expect the market to come down a bit over here or at least to touch the 200 ema which is at 2750 right not beyond that so i'll book my profit at 2750 whatever it is so my 21000 position which you saw i'll book the profit at 2750 if it's going to break the 200 ema and going down further then i'll start trailing my stop loss from 2750 as you know if uh, i let my winners run so if the winner is i mean my winning position is running i'll just keep on trailing it all the way until uh, uh until i find i I'll, I'll get uh, it hit my stop loss to be honest yeah so we'll show in a first i'll show in a 50 minutes chart pattern so in a 50 minutes chart pattern right now it's showing a reversal at this particular point of time which is good news for me why because my put side is over here at 2750 you see i have already put an alert over there for me to understand if it's at that the money for sure i did option selling so i have put a stop loss and everything is already there and i hope you guys clearly know my positions of option selling because you have seen my video last time so it's always the same but if you want to know if you are new to my channel then you can watch 
so my tp is at always at 20 or 30 as i said 20 30 i'll book the profit and get out i'm not gonna wait it all the way to go to 0 0.5 or something like that and my sl is always at sorry my sl is at 250 why is 250 250 is at the money when it's at the money means the my view is completely wrong market has reached a particular point then i'm out and for this trade i'm going to hold this trade for a longer period of time why because this trade is for monday so i have one more day tomorrow to close that trade and in that particular trade i only put uh, tp at 800 uh, not an sl because as i said to you guys earlier as well uh, usually my position sizing is very low so that's why i have a um, i have a confidence to stay in that particular position for a longer period of time yeah so guys uh, mostly the this is what this is my trading plan for monday so as you know the market is bouncing back a bit i suspect the market will hit this 200 ema and uh, drop again but not vigorously because this is a Sunday. But on a uh, Monday, you will see a huge downtrend at the moment at the beginning. Then I'll book my profit. If it's a huge uptrend, don't just jump right into the trade. Wait for the confirmation because the market can come down vigorously. Then you may lose uh, your uh, positions. Okay. Uh, and in a five minutes chart, usually I don't. Uh, as you know, I, I I rarely check the five minutes chart patterns. But just just to just to let you guys know okay, okay, come on. okay. Uh, so in the five minutes chat pattern there's nothing much actually to be honest uh, uh, I just look at the CPI why I look at the CPI for me to see few things actually it's not just the CPI uh, CPI to see if it's taking a support or resistance at this particular time and also God. Okay. 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 So as you can see, okay, market is at very important level. Why I ended the put option for Monday? Few reasons as well. In the five minutes chart also, as you can see, it break the yesterday's low. This was yesterday's low. This yellow color line is the yesterday's low. The moment the market break the yesterday's low, I already know that I should I should be prepared for a. Uh, uh, bearish market but he as you can see he break the yesterday's low again with the bullish candle but do you think i'm i'm, I'm changing my view in the right now no i'm not changing i'm not going to change my view because there's a 200 ema on the top as well same at the 50 minutes chart, chart pattern you can see a 200 ema and i suspect the market to touch the 200 ema and also this particular zone will now will act as a resistance because it was acting as a support for a long period of time now this particular black zone which is at 21 for 85 or 21 480 or whatsoever it will touch there and it will act as a resistance now so as it's a sunday i don't expect a huge move or things like that but in a monday please expect the market to have a bigger move towards the downtrend which is my view and uh, the moment it, the market takes a retracement at 2850 or um, the next level is at which i mentioned over here 28.50 you can book the profit over here or you can wait till uh, 27.59 or 7.50 which is at the 200 EMA you can book the profit but if the market is breaking both of it just start trailing the stop loss uh, uh, let, let your winners run uh, you can get the it will be a huge uh, down move if it's gonna break that particular point as well but if uh, it's a slow move then you can just book the profit at a uh, decent amount of profit I think it will be roughly about 500 uh, 500 to 500 600 points in that particular uh, trade yes guys uh, that's about the trade which i took for monday i wish you guys all the best and trade safe see you guys in the next video bye bye